progress going for you now that you get a sort of a year under your belt? Uh, yeah, I think a, a year really makes a big difference. Like I was telling some of the guys that just got here, like uh, just having that year of experience, like going through practices and getting on the field. Like even if it's just special teams, it makes a, it makes a big difference. Did you expect kind of the role that you ended up having your first season? Uh, I kind of expected it because like when I came in, Coach P was like, you know. We want we want you to play like you know like we're not just here to for you to like fill a role and just to learn so you're gonna learn as you go and we're gonna throw you out there and you know that's gonna be an even, even better learning experience so I kind of expected it already but you know it it went well so what, what, what was that like trying to learn as you go in the middle of you know SEC football it was complicated I ain't gonna lie like just trying to like learn the schemes you know and and applying the schemes and. Uh, learning what to do and like transitioning from like high school ball to college ball, you know, and balancing school. It was tough, but you know, I think it, I think it worked out good. And like the coaches and my teammates, like vets that were here, uh, people that was playing before me, like DJ, you know, they were like they were all helping me out, so it went good. Where did you come in weight wise, and where are you now, and are you where you want to be? Uh, I came in I was like two thirty. Yeah, but I was like a I was like a slim two thirty, but like. Towards the end of the season, I was gaining weight, so I was about 240. But now, like I think I'm like 240-ish, between 240 and 245, and I'm like a, I'm a, I'm a good 245, 240. So, uh, and like our nutritionist, uh, Kristen, she wants me to try to get me like 250 before the season comes. And I don't think I like lose any speed by getting that weight or anything like that. So, I think I think that'll be our goal. How do you put on 10 pounds? Get 10 pounds. Uh, eating and lifting. Yeah. Eating and lifting and doing whatever she says. So. <laughs> yeah. What has that bug position been like, maybe compared to what you did in high school? Is there anything about it that's surprised you or been tough? I uh, only think, well, I'll probably say the, mo the thing, uh, the biggest thing is the difference from the buck and then just playing regularly in the high school is just pass coverage and stuff and learning like what to do exactly with the pass coverage and, you know, and how to, you know, cover cover receivers, cover tight ends, going to the flats and th stuff like that. But other than that, it's kind of similar. Uh, it's a lot more stunting involved, which uh, like I, I like uh, specifically. And Coach P thinks, I think he thinks that, you know, it fits my skill set. So like, I, I think it's a good position for me. And, well, what are sort of the, the benefits and what, what can you kind of learn from competing with uh, DJ and Daniel at that position? Yeah, well, with DJ, like, like when I was coming in on my freshman year, you know, Coach Coach P and T-Rod, they was just both like, you know, just just watch him. He's, you know, the perfect model for you. Uh, and that's just with everything, like, you know, school and uh, the butt position. So, like, anytime it came to, like, meetings, you know, I just, you know, follow him when we roomed. Like when we went away and whenever we uh, had games, so we room together and stuff. Just so I just really, you know, follow what he did and try to do everything he did and you know do it my way type. Does having those two guys there sort of force you to give a little bit more because there's you know just to be fighting for for any snaps you can get? Yeah, for sure. Like having competition, any competition is gonna bring out better competition in you, so it's gonna bring out a better play in you. So having them guys, two good players, you know, competing with them uh, all last year and you know throughout you know fall and uh, throughout spring camp. It definitely brings out, you know, the better, better player in you. When you look at what DJ did last year in terms of like production and all that, mm -hmm. and you sort of follow his model, does that get you more excited about what maybe you could add? Yeah. This season? Oh yeah, for sure. Like uh, last year, I say I was more trying to just, you know, make sure I followed all the schemes and try to do everything right and get used to, you know, just adjusting the plan, you know, on this level. But this year, definitely, I'm gonna try to, you know. Make make more plays. That's really my main goal, just to make plays and be productive and produce just like you know how he did and more so. Is there a play or a moment, situation, whatever from last season that you look to as like your highlight of your freshman year? Uh, if I could pick a game, I say I probably played my best. I probably say Clemson. I think I think I played my best like overall complete game. Uh, just scheme wise, you know. Uh, I feel like Clemson is when everything really clicked. I really like felt comfortable. I feel like I knew everything, kind of knew how to play, knew what to do. Uh, I felt like my pass rushing was was beginning to to improve and and just stuff like that. I felt comfortable, more comfortable playing. So I think that's Clemson is when I really felt like I got used to, I got comfortable playing and, and on this level. Anything else? You had one play early. I think it was. Might have been Tex A and M where you kind of you ran a stunt, sort of came up the middle, and I think a QB kind of shook you. Was 
Mm. Was it was that something you, you got a little bit of grief uh, about from kind of teammates, and is that something that kind of drove you or sort of shows you yeah. I'm kind of close early early on? Yeah, like that was like my first real game, uh, like starting mm-hmm. kind of. But it was like, I mean, I wasn't really starting, but I was starting on the third down package, our rabbits package. So like that was like the first, it was like the first play, you know, so I'm playing in, you know, Texas A&M Stadium and 80,000, 85,000 people screaming. And third down, like it's like third and five, and he called the he called the blitz, and I knew the play, you know, so I knew I had to blitz the a gap, and I just overshot it. I was too happy, came in too fast, and missed him, overshot him, and yeah, I got I caught grief from. They played it in the team meeting room, so you know, T. Rob <laughs> went went at it, but it was good though. It was straight. I learned from it. How are you improved as a as a putt pass rusher so far here in spring practice? That uh, some of the things that you've worked on your technique. Uh. Some of the main things just coming off the ball, rolling off the ball. Uh, Coach P talks a lot about that, you know, because using my speed, you know, it's, it's easy for me to, you know, beat a lot of O line and tackles, you know, off the ball. So he just says to get that first step out, you know, just to give me a better position by the time I take my third step and work my move, you know, uh, stuff like that. Using my hands more, all types of stuff. We uh, work with a guy from. Uh, from George, he comes in and works with us all, our D linemen, and we work a lot with our hands, using our hands and stuff. So, usually hands and feet is really what I've been working on a lot. You developed a signature pass rush move. I can't tell you that. <laughs> oh, but you got one. Oh, yeah, I got one though. I got one. I keep it on the load. I can't tell you. Who's the guy you work with on the hand stuff? It's a guy from uh, Georgia. He works with. He works with. Like he worked with DJ and uh, Aaron Sterling coming up, and uh, he comes over every every couple of weeks and we'll all work in, work with them for the weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just work hands and different pass rushing moves, you know. Coach T. Rob said that this defense, the defensive line especially, might not be as big as it was last year, but it's quicker, it's faster. How can you guys use that to your advantage this season? Uh, well, the defense we play, you know, we, we like to move our defensive line a lot. We don't just play gaps and, you know, sit down. So we all stunt, we all move, and we all can move well. So I think with that and with us being, you know, as athletic as we are, it definitely helps us to our advantage, you know, playing bigger offensive linemen if we come into it or stuff like that.